Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny. Episode, oh shit, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't fade that out. Uh, where's my producer? Fix that. All right, there we go. Uh, episode number 586, we're doing it. I hope you all enjoyed the interview the other day with Heck and Steve. He was cool. Definitely have him on again or uh, on That's All Kayfabe because uh, we're all wrestling marks for that. And we hate things. We hate everything. Uh, no, it was fun. It was great. Uh, great. It was great. Um, I'm just here chilling. Another day of uh, just sleeping and looking at uh, all the pills I take. That's always a fun thing to do. Uh, I've been playing a game called Arctic Eggs. That's pretty fun. Uh, I haven't recorded any gameplay. I, I don't know. The the, the guy uh, who sent me uh, like to beta play, test it, or whatever. And it's fun. You just like cook eggs for people. Uh, and it's got great dialogue, great music. And that's all you do is cook eggs. And I love eggs. It sounds simple, but it's actually a really fun game. Uh, and challenging, surprisingly, because of the physics uh, with the mouse. But I was playing that all night. And then I'm playing Harold Halibut, which is a pretty interesting story. And it's um, sort of like, you know, the stop motion not claymation, but everything's handmade, the models, and looks like they scan them in and then, you know, put them into the game, so it's something to play on Game Pass, and it's a pretty cool game. It's I've been having fun just chilling, playing with it, and the story's odd, but in a good way. Very good, but it's great. Everything's great. Let's check out the news, if y'all been playing at Harold Hall a bit, or uh, <laughs> Arctic Eggs. No, nah, I don't think you played Arctic Eggs. It's going to come out soon on Steam. Very interesting. Uh, let's check out the news here. <laughs> uh, possible UFO over New York City baffles passenger flying into LaGuardia. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, someone, a passenger just saw a UFO and tripped out. And it's like, okay, yeah, that's what. Didn't uh, Blink-182 already talk about this? Uh, <laughs> so sorry, it's over. I love you. I love your mom. Um, UFOs. But yeah, I mean, we have we can't be alone, you know. And even if it is a UFO, I'm sure it's. It could be a drone. It could be an Indian drone, a Chinese drone, a U.S. government drone, a Ukraine drone. Bunch of different drones. It could be a fucking DoorDash or Amazon drone just delivering fucking uh, Mexican chicken to uh, whoever the fuck wants to order that shit over and over again, you know? Like, it could really be anything. So, I don't know. I don't know why this is news, but it must be a slow news day, you know? But <laughs> it's always a slow news day when no one's going to war or doing anything like that, you know? But whatever. What can you do? Uh, except uh, watch this shit. I don't know. UFOs aren't even. And I I don't know. It's just an identified unidentified flying object. It doesn't even mean alien anymore. It's just something flying around that we don't know what it is. You know, it's not alien. The aliens are already here. Uh, they're already at Bohemian Grove. Uh, making the frogs gay and uh, ma uh, you know, with the Illuminati and Tower Seven and the government. Uh, you know, uh, with uh, P. Diddy and the por pornography uh, of the uh, 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 the the uh, 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 Biggie uh, Shug shot me. Um, but yeah. Oh well, UFOs, right? Speaking of space, uh, spacecraft spots spiders scattered across the surface of Mars. Um. So if you're looking at this picture here, I guess they see things on the surface of Mars that look like little spiders, and it's pretty fucking scary looking. Um, apparently they're larger than what they look, and um, which uh, these spiders are really just small, dark-colored features that begin to be formed when sunshine falls on the carbon dioxide deposited during the planet's winter months. Yeah, that's what they want you to think. I bet you they are fucking. Mars spiders all in tune the evening of the moon dream 
through our head, through my head. Oh, you know, oh, I'm awake. Um, but yeah, or maybe this is just promoting whatever that new arachnophobia movie that's coming out on Shutter. I don't know. M Mars sounds pretty scary. I wouldn't doubt if there are spiders up there. Uh, you know, but whatever. What do I know? I I'm just <laughs> a sick man. Uh, moving on to other random news. BlizzCon 2024 has been canceled. And Blizzard has announced it will not hold BlizzCon, the publisher's annual fan convention this year. After careful consideration over last year, we at Blizzard have made the decision not to hold BlizzCon in 2024. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. It's it's got a lot of shit going down. Uh like look it says like World of Warcraft, Overwatch 2. And I mean they just aren't they a part of Microsoft now? So I don't know why they chose not to. It's kind of weird, but they're gonna hold more in the future. It's not like they're canceling it forever. It's it's just this year. And I wonder why. I don't know if they're just like worried that a toxic fan base. So right now, people are just toxic, dude. And I wouldn't doubt if they're canceling it, too, because of all these protests and all BlizzCon's going to turn into is a Hamas-Palestine protest area, you know, for these uh, cis simp, cisgender uh, halabalooza schema marinka dinka toilet people. I don't know. Um, I just wouldn't want to be around people. People are disgusting. Uh, especially these uh, convention people, uh, but you know whatever that that too. Uh, I, I feel like it would just cause more controversy. You'd have chicks or dudes or dudes dressed as chicks or chicks dressed as dudes or cosplaying, look at all naked, and they're like butt like half butt naked, and then you stare and they're like, "Why are you staring at me?" And it's just like, "Dude, you're like half butt naked. Like, of course you want to be stared at, right?" What what do you what do you mean? Like how, how can I not look at you? You know what I mean? But whatever. Uh I tried Overwatch, it was okay. Couldn't really get into it because I wasn't good at it. World of Warcraft, I've never played uh ever. It just sounds so expensive. <laughs> I'm sure it still is now. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really uh uh I'm not feeling it. Gonna take off her clothes. I'm feeling it. Fade fell short this time. Your smile fades in the summer. I waste your hand in mine. I'll leave when I wanna. UFOs, UFOs, UFOs. Uh, moving on to other news. New York City to require warning labels for sugary foods and drinks in chain restaurants. So that means they're going to need warning labels on everything because <laughs> everything has sugar in it, I imagine. Uh, this rule, New York residents may soon see warning labels next to sugary food and drinks and chain restaurants and coffee shops under a law set to go into effect later this year. The rule, rule requires food businesses with 15 storefronts or more to post a warning icon, a black and white spoon loaded with sugar next to menu items containing at least 50 grams of added sugar. Um, I don't know. This is weird. Like, I get the idea of putting warning labels on cigarettes, right? Because that shit, like, kills you and it's addictive. I mean, I guess sugar is addictive too, but um, I, I don't get, like, everything has sugar. Not everything has tobacco. You know what I mean? Uh, so I just don't get why this is a thing that new york likes to do where it's like oh people are too fat we need to um it's not their fault it's the uh uh restaurants and the ingredients not being transparent it's like dude that's your fault for not looking into it like just google or you, you have a phone just take a picture of your meal and it'll probably tell you how many calories it is you know it's it's not the restaurant's fault you're fat it's not forcing you to eat the whole meal it's not forcing you to order two meals and take one to go 
it's not forcing you to eat shit with sugar, you know, but uh, whatever. What do I know? New York likes to do weird shit that uh, distracts you from Tower 7 and how it, uh, <laughs> is that the one, right? The the one that uh, imploded with no, uh, it's like, oh, it, it exploded. How? How did it? How did it do that? It, it was way over there. Uh, it it did. A terrorist. Okay. We just accept it. Whatever. That's that's the old world. We're in the new world, right? Um, very godparents. Lastly, here, uh, and this is some good wholesome news. I guess I don't know if you want to call it that. Golden Retriever puppy born with green fur is now in the viral limelight, named Shamrock. Um, Shamrock, the green golden retriever puppy, is taking the internet by storm after the breeders who raised her posted a video on TikTok, which has now gone viral. Um, so all these other, there's a picture here of all these other puppies that were born and they're white, and there's one that's just green, like it, like lime green, like it, like it's radioactive or something. Um, but apparently it looks fine. They're saying she's, she looks different, but she's healthy and happy. Um, do 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 do. Says, uh, how was this puppy born green? For a light colored dog, it's not uncommon to have a greenish tint or some green on a dog, but it usually comes right off. Okay, so it's not a big fucking deal. Okay, but I imagine this is gonna make uh, people want to dye their animals' colors now. Kind of like when I, I, we would go to the carnival. And you would get um, little chicks uh, that you could take home and they'd die real quick. And you wouldn't even care because they're just like little chicks. But they would dye them different colors. And you could pick like a pink one or whatever. And the same with like, uh, I remember when I would go to Walmart and they had like, you know, the fish section where you couldn't buy a fish. And I remember always wanting, and I did eventually get, they had see-through fish. Where you could like, they look like the old school Game Boys that you could see through and, you know, like, or those telephones that you could see through, like that real 90s aesthetic where you could just see all the electronics in them and they light up and stuff. And lo I love see-through shit, you know, uh, especially on my women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I was always thought that was cool. I remember buying like two or three see-through fish from Walmart when they did sell fish and they didn't last very long. I wasn't very good at taking care of animals as a kid, especially like, um, uh, like even my Digimon pets, I, I would like leave too much poop in the area and not clean it. And then they would just like die. And it was always sad, but you could reset it. Like they had the little like pinhole that you just stick like your uh, sharp pencil in. And to reset it, and uh, that was always, you know, my go-to. But um, what do y'all think of the green golden retriever? Uh, uh, what do you think of New York and how sugary they are? You know, I don't know about New York. Like, they have other problems, like people just getting punched randomly in the street. And it's like, oh, no, we need to label uh, sugary shit. And it's like, dude, y'all need to, like, not let people get punched in the street you know or uh was that where all the jews like ended up in the sewer you need to like n you know monitor your sewer system uh what do you think about blizzcon being canceled because who gives a fuck right <laughs> i mean everything's online now and spiders on mar mars that sounds about right or uh ufos do you believe in uh the extraterrestrials because how can we be alone on this earth that makes no sense even if you think of um like interdimensional type things you know we can't be alone in this world there has to be more to it whether it's like frequencies and vibrations or uh other planets or i don't know it's just it's silly to think that we are alone but uh i don't know where where do you expect us to go with the bombs fall ha 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 ha. Where do you expect us to go when the bombs fall? 
No, I'm trying to find the outro music. Oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all funny, guys. I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. It's available anywhere podcast That's all funny. Uh, I have a podcast called the game called That's All Funny. We talk about wrestling. I uh, come up on page. Check that out anywhere podcasts are available. Just search that's all kayfabe. Uh, uh, check out the video versions of that this on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Uh, video versions of that and uh, other stuff I do with video games and other random videos, as well as a live show I do with the wonderful mint salad called Tits and Ariolas. Where we uh, talk about a movie we watch and then we play a little game. It's fun, she's beautiful. You can check her out at Autistic Boobs on the Twitter. I'm at Lorenzo Ariola on the Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you want to help support the podcast, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. $5 a month to you everything. Early episodes, bonus episodes, deleted episodes, etc., etc. If you want to purchase any merch, hit me up at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I got t shirts, prints, stickers. Uh, if you want to commission any art from a great artist, he does all art for the show at Retro Horror Inc. Check him out on Twitter and Instagram at Retro Horror Inc. Uh, I want to thank you for listening to the podcast, to my Patreon subscribers. Thank you to everyone. Like and subscribe. Take care.